Hey, I'm Matthias Shapiro. Uh, I'm the author and creator of Recovery Review, which is located at uh, www.recoveryinteract.com. And I just want to take a moment to uh, walk anybody who's interested through a, uh, a kind of a an overview of what Recovery Recovery Review was made for and what it can do. So, Recovery Review is designed to be uh, an easy way to uh, search through, visualize, and then uh, flag data from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act 2009, also known as the Stimulus Project. Uh, I've designed it so that it is uh, it allows people to get the information that they're most interested in, uh, and I'll just kind of walk through what the capabilities are and uh, a couple of design decisions I made along the way. First, we've got uh, when we first come, when we first pull up recoveryinteract.com, uh, we're presented with a screen that allows us to. This gives us all of our search options that are available: uh, the amount of money spent, the number of jobs that are reported as saved or created, the state that the project was in, the zip code the project was in, uh, when it was awarded, uh, or, or a particular search or phrase that's inside of the data somewhere, and then also whether or not the data has been disputed. Disputed data is uh, if someone sees some information uh, in uh, a, a project, a stimulus project here, and they think that it's inaccurate, they can go in and they can flag it. And if they flag it, it then becomes disputed data, and they can give their reasons for doing so. So let's just take a quick look at some of the biggest projects that, the that uh, were offered out in the stimulus. So let's look at everything that was over a billion dollars. That's nah, $10 billion. That's going to be too big. Okay. So we'll look at that information. We'll wait for it to load. Okay. And it turns out, so we're showing all the stimulus projects that cost more than a billion dollars. Uh, and there's $19 billion, $19.3 billion worth of projects that match that criteria and they account for 107,000 of the jobs that were reported in the stimulus. Um, we can, we have a sidebar, uh, so a real quick about this infographic here, or this is this visualization. Uh, the light blue is the total stimulus awarded, also indicated down here in the legend, and the darker blue is uh, just the information that falls within the realm of our search. Same thing with the light green is all the jobs reported, and the darker green is all the jobs that are reported in relation to this search. Um, the reason that I've done this, you notice that the, the circles get cut off. The problem that uh, the stimulus has is that it's, we're trying to look at information uh, in a pot of money that is hundreds of billions of dollars. And some of these projects only cost a couple thousand dollars or a couple million dollars. But if you look at a, a million dollars in the context of a couple, a couple hundred billion dollars, it becomes so small that it's really hard to grasp the scale. Uh, we, there's not a screen big enough for us to look at it and see all of the information at one time. And so what I've decided to do is a bit of a, a design decision where I let the user kind of imagine what the circle uh, the, the size of the circle is, give them, give them enough contours to kind of make that connection. Um, over here on the side, this is uh, a result of all of the data that matches our search criteria. We can see there are 12 items. If there were more than 50 items, we would be able to page through the items using the page controls up here. And if we want to look at the, uh, the, the projects in a, a little bit of a different light, we could sort them by uh, the lowest amount of money or the the highest amount paid or the number of jobs that were created either least or most or or the date that the project was uh, approved so a little bit about the info infographics here if we click on these they actually interact with this in a sort of master detail way and now we can see that this project takes up that much of all of the searching and subsequently all of the stimulus awarded and the same thing with the jobs over here uh, more detail is provided below in the legend. The actual numbers are uh, are provided there. But the uh, the item uh, here has a, a couple of pieces of information. It's got 
whether or not the item has been flagged for an accurate date or whether or not there are any links providing more data like a uh, link to a blog post or a news article and uh, the date it was awarded and then this circle here indicates how much money uh, was awarded and then uh, the light blue circle indicates the money awarded and the dark blue circle indicates the amount of money that's actually been sent to fund the project so this first project is 90 percent funded we can see because it's mostly dark uh, circle and the bottom project uh, the second project is only 11 percent funded secondly we have the number of jobs and these are sized in relation to each other uh, so uh, and then when we hover over we can see how much it cost per job uh, for this project for, for any given project if we want to see more even more detail about one of these projects we can click on the button that shows on the uh, shows up on the hover and that'll bring up a project detail and we can see all the little nitty-gritty details the amount of awarded the amount of funds paid out who awarded it what it was for when it was last updated how is it complete or not that kind of thing a uh, little bit of details down at the bottom uh, and then if we think that anything in the project is inaccurate, we can click on flags and we can flag the data. Or we can click on links if we have a, a blog post or a news article and we want people uh, that's about this particular item. And we want people to be able to see that information and do a little bit more digging on this particular project. So let's close that down. Uh, we've covered the bulk of it, uh, but one thing that we haven't looked at is uh, we can actually look at a map of the results across the United States. Uh, if we hover over it and it has more than one object in a particular place on the map, uh, a little pop-up will show that there are actually three items at this location. Now uh, the problem that we have is actually a lot of this data happens very, very close, uh, in places very, very close. We've now zoomed all the way into downtown Sacramento and within a two mile stretch, we've got two places uh, with a grand total of four different billion dollar awards. Uh, so we can open that up and look at the three awards uh, that have gone to this particular location. We can click on those awards, and they will select automatically inside of the uh, results view. And we can do the same thing the other way around. We can select in the results view and uh, go to a project, and the the uh, the project will, or the map will center around wherever that project happens to be. So. Oh, Washington DC. How about that? Okay, uh, that's about that's about all I have for uh, recovery review. Uh, if you have any more questions, please visit uh, my blog. It's recoveryinteract.com/blog. Uh, I take uh, where I will be posting blog posts, a little bit more detail, both technical and uh, design decisions and uh, visualization concepts and data concepts. So, thanks for your time.